going to go all Arnold Palmer on us here, I think. Look at that finish. This is Tiger the artist. Oh, wow. What a shot. Just ricochets back toward the hole. <laughs> Look at this finish. Well, there's the, you got the artist and the engineer. And this right here is full-blown artist. Look at this thing. It just zip. Oh, this is just another one of those memorable shots. Not every of the third. Shoes on. Remember what Nicholas Thompson did yesterday. Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> he did not. Nicholas Thompson, move over. You've just been outdone. <laughs> what do you call that? A water two? Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Good things can happen out here also. We've seen a lot of the other, but. With that carom, we've seen lots of kicks at 16, but never before have we seen a deuce at the 16th. It'll make you lose it. Oh. <laughs> he threw it, and then he goes, oh my goodness, I threw it in the lake. Oh, he does a little Hale Irwin circa 1990 Medina. Yes, sir. Brooks Kepka, a month away from defending his U.S. Open title. He's had a wrist injury. We haven't seen as much of him of late. Look at this, second shot, the par 5, 16th. How about that six iron? One bounce and in for the Albatross. The two on the par 5. And then we'll take you out to number 16. It's Jared Lyle. It's an eight iron. Look out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do that big fella. Asking it to get down. <laughs> it's great. Great reaction. <laughs> That's great. They don't have a Hall of Fame partner at number 16, but if they did, Lyle would go in. Yeah, maybe they should. There have been a whole lot of aces they there. They should have a wall over there with uh, the guys who've aced it. Well, talking to Brad Fable, he says if he does hit a rock on the way back, he's got a problem, so can't do that. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> wow is right, Jason. That would have been one of the most incredible shots in the history of this tournament, and even though it didn't go in, it still might be. Little short backswing, could not make contact with a rock, and that had a very realistic chance. If he can trim this with an open face lob wedge and get a little bit of spin on it, just depends on how firm that ground is underneath. Perfect. Good play. We'll let him make a good full swing with his gap wedge. Oh, no, he got caught. Oh, oh it's my through it. Goodness. It went through, through the trees. trees. Incredible. Oh, I bet they spilled a few drops of Guinness on them. <laughs> yeah. Why not? There he is. Your champion. Everyone in Europe knew. They knew about him in Europe. We know about him now in America. Wow. You're looking at a guy that's going to be a part of that Ryder Cup team for Europe, you got to think for years to come. Absolutely. Well, this is kind of a gap wedge. It's a yeah. 51 degree. That's not bad. That's all right. That sounds about right to me. Oh, there's the shot. There's the shot. Ricky. It was doable, and he pulled it off. And he's on. The perfect side, yeah. too. Just an up pillar. Yes. Number one for Ricky. And what a way to do it. Birding the 18th hole at Quail Hollow. Something happening at 16 now. Francesco Molinari. 
And i got to say, before we started this show, Matt Gogol said, watch out for 16 today. Because you just might see that. I know, that, I didn't call that, did I? <laughs> Look at that. Francesco Molinari makes an ace. And they're loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Let it rain. Yeah, but it was all the people that had to pay for their beers were throwing them. So this guy. By the it. way, what, what's his what's his bar tab tonight? I'm yeah. going somewhere in six figures. <laughs> Austin Johnson's been on the bag with Dustin, and I think they've done extremely well together. As you mentioned nine wins in the last two years. With his 18th victory on tour, holds out for two. That's what world number one's doing. My goodness. That is just sensational. The question he's got to ask himself here is, does he want to attack this flag? Well, oh. there's your answer. There's That's attacking, and Justin Thomas has hold it. Come on, baby, let's go. Okay, 64, just like that. Is that the championship winner? If it is, it'll go down in the history books as one of the greatest ever. Up the line, plenty of room into the breeze. Oh, oh it's really easy. Oh, yes. oh, my goodness. Matt Kuchar. Oh, my goodness. How can you creep up 17 and then hold that? Exercises all of the wrongdoings at 17 with one bunker shot. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Must make here for Matt Jones to get to 15 under. She said bunk shot it right. Now she come back left. It looks darn good. It's got enough speed and it's in for Matt Jones. That is a one in a hundred putt right there. A double breaker. Somehow he read it and put it right in the center. Finishing touch on a 66 to get within one. And now that Kuchar bogey would what? get him into a playoff. He's going to run up that slope and then as he gets across, move to his left. The secret here is where do you leave the, the shot? Oh, that's a good one. Maybe you leave it in. Oh, maybe you do. Are you kidding? How about that? It's birdies 18 in regulation, and then birdies it in the playoff. Unbelievable. The two best shots of 2014. I mean, that is a very hard shot up over that ridge. Now down the hill, curling left. Bam. Jones and Jones again at 18. Really a two-part putt. Yeah, left, left to right all the way. The bobbled early coming out. Will it have an effect on the speed? Oh, as I was. could be good. His caddy, Adam Hayes, helped them read this. Uh, so smart to get behind it, too. How about making it? Yes! Oh. Incredible! Probably just won the tournament. Well, I was going to say, with, with that one shot, that's it. <laughs> How a, I can't believe that I'm sitting here in shock because the way it turned and went in, many of the other guys' putts were going the other way. So, hey, that had destiny in it. That was meant to be. I'd say the odds are, what, one in five, though, that he hits it inside of 15 feet. Whoa! The spin on that. Oh, 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 how about the spin? What a shot! It's just like a bunker shot, Johnny. You called it. It pops straight up in the air. And amazing to get that kind of spin. Uh, people can't can't believe he's just hit the shot. The average guy is thinking he's dead. It's over. He's got 184 yards, a clean lie, but as you say, just a you know a giraffe at the waterhole stance. Sounded like point contact. On a heck of a line. You are kidding me. <laughs> That was a great shot. And he's got a lot of friends to enjoy it with him. Feel the line for Birdie and the win. Looking good. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. For three in a row. Steve Stricker. What a feeling. What a putt for Steve Stricker. Birdie, birdie, finish. This is right in the hole. Oh, no, no. This is dangerous. Oh, no. It's good now, Roger. It's within four or five feet of the hole. People are going crazy. Another look from above at this one. Never a doubt. Going right at it the whole way. A little right of the hole. And you think the fans aren't pulling for Ricky Fowler? Fowler's tee shot less than five feet from the hole. Four feet, eight inches. From a player's championship title. And that too does it for Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler owns the Island Green and the 2015 Players' Championship. Five twos in six trips around it. So often a dream crusher, Fowler absolutely delivered down the stretch of holes here at TPC Sawgrass like we have never seen before. So he's going to have to go vertical with uh, with the super high lob and just take his chances. But I say anything inside of six feet would be a wonderful oh, shot. Oh, I guess. Straight up. Oh, yeah, look at this, Peter. Look at this shot. Look at this. Might go in. Might go in. Might go in. It is in. Of anybody? One guy. That guy. That was sick. Jordan Spieth, not an easy shot here to get up and down. Wow! Oh, goodness gracious! Jordan Spieth, how about that birdie wow. in the last? Because that was motoring, and you got the pond on the other side. Wow, to tie for the lead at 19 under. He's holding. 65 with the uh, routine birdie at 18. The 19 year old is 19 under. There's a scenario where Dustin could knock this over the green, so uh, plenty of horsepower here with this much wind. Oh, that's it hard. Yeah. And he likes it too, which means it's good. Oh, hmm. it's beyond that. Here we go. Oh, man. Unbelievably <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Just go in. Just go in. Oh. Folks, early prediction, but that's the drive of the year, and it may hold up for about seven or eight months. That's just plain obscene. Land this a little bit short and let it run out to the hole. Right at it. Right at it. Oh, John he's spin. done it again just as he did at the John Deere for his first win. Unbelievable. All these crazy things that have happened here, and that might just top them all. All he has to do is really land it on the green. As long as it doesn't have a ton of spin, it should just roll to the hole slightly downhill. Oh, it's going to take the slope. Look out. Could it be? Oh! How about that? What a finish. I thought he might make the three, but I didn't think he'd make it that way. Bubba Watson now looking at a birdie putt to win. How about that finish for Bubba Watson? Holds a bunker shot for Eagle in regulation to get himself into the playoff. And then he makes a long birdie putt on the first playoff hole to become a world golf champion for the first time. Said first time around, two birdies in regulation for Jonathan Bird. What a shot. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, well, we think this is possible. <laughs> Yes. 
Three paths, two birdies, and a hole in one. <laughs> so far this week. Rory, it's 16. Watch this. No way! <laughs> you think he doesn't want to win, Dan? And you think he's going to take another look at that leaderboard right now and see where he is? Well, he couldn't see that go in. Obviously, that's uphill. The flag is hidden behind that bunker. But he knew it by the reaction of the crowd. His putting is getting better. And how about his wedge game? I'd say it's pretty good. Third opportunity to win the Tour Championship in the FedEx Cup from 14 and a half feet. He steps right in. And this time, the third time's a charm. And Rory McIlroy wins the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup. How about this finish? Moore puts the pressure on with a clutch par. And McIlroy says enough is enough. Bury the birdie. Hole out eagle in regulation. Got him into the position. And he birdies 16 to put it away.